Hey YouTube, this is Firewizard23, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 4 Shadows of Darkness. While we're at it. Oh, whoops. I. <laughs> That's not what I intended to do. Get back here, hero. Get back here. <laughs> you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> what I wanted to do. It's actually a habit of mine. Spoiler here, folks. This is actually a habit of mine, by the way. You straighten out your jacket and retie your boots. Appearances count. <laughs> I'm always someone who does that. Uh, what's this thing? The archway above the path is inscribed with eight arcane symbols. You recognize seven of them from Arcania 101, no doubt, as the symbols of blood, bone, breath, essence, heart, the mouth, and the senses. The eighth is new to you. It looks a bit like a six-tentacled starfish, or perhaps more like a squished squid. Something about the symbol fascinates and scares you at the same time. Um, as it turns out, we can look at each one. This symbol looks like a mouth with pursed lips. Crossed bones, da 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 But we can actually take this one. The six-pointed symbol seems to pulse with energy and comes loose in your hand when you touch it. You have the feeling that you may need this sign. So you carefully store it in your pack. Right. So we have that symbol. Uh, I don't think we have anything else here to do, so let's get out of here. Scary, scary, scary. Oh, well, now where are we? A small island peeks warily out of the middle of the goo pond. A pool of sticky, greasy-looking slime dominates this area below the cave. A stream of slimy goo oozes down the right side, and goo dripping on the path makes it slimy and treacherous as well. Let's uh, head down here. The path is dripping with slimy goo. You're having a hard time maintaining your footing on it. Uh-oh. No! That's not supposed to happen! That's not supposed to happen! Wait a minute! I thought I wouldn't have this problem! I really didn't! I've been playing this game like this and I have not had that problem in a long time. Let's, uh, let's turn up the speed so I can just get through these things. Six Grab that. There we go, okay. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen! Wait a minute, okay. <laughs> This game is very buggy, as many people famously know, so I apologize for that. Uh, let's save it right here, actually. Out of here as down the slide. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Now, what is this exactly? Oh. This tall standing stone has been carved, so that the top looks like a squid is perched upon it. Hey, didn't we just grab something here that looks kind of similar? The Dark One sign does look a little like the top of this standing stone. So you try touching the sign to the stone. You feel a resonance between them, but nothing else happens. Ah, uh, well that's no fun. Hmm. What's this over here? A delicately crafted bonsai bush looks totally out of place in a pool of dark, unhealthy looking goo. Hmm. A delicately oh, I was trying to look at the rocks. A I want to look at the rocks! A delicate... No. All right. I've got this weird ooze. A narrow stream of viscous, gooey, grimy sludge oozes its way down the hillside. Ugh. Let's uh, head this way. Nothing more to be done here. Oh! What's this? The heavy odor of decay overwhelms your senses and Ew. makes you feel slightly nauseated as you survey this gloomy swamp. Ew. What's this? The bleached bones of the earth lie surrounded by the murky marsh. I want them. The you see a floating, coruscating ball of light. Yeah, these weird uh, little things flying around. I don't know what they are. And, uh! The heavy... Oh, no, this thing. The decayed remains of a human arm claw uh, at you oh. to drag you down to share its doom. Ah! Oh. Get out of here. Ugh, too scary. Hmm. We can speed up a little bit. No need to be going at a snail's pace. Uh, let's 
You are in the southwestern corner of the forest. Dank mists rise from a dismal swamp to the south and west. The path to the dark cave lies to the southeast. East. Uh, Katrina did say the town was due north, so let's head north. It's getting brighter outside, we can see it. Okay. Getting brighter and brighter. Ugh! Bats! Okay, combat's pretty simple here. The right mouse button will cause your player to use the weapon. And I can use the left mouse button on those magic buttons down there to cast my respective spells. From the left to the right down there is... I think we have Escape. Zap, Flame Dart... Force Bolt, and that's Dazzle. The mid- the- from left to right, let me say that again. Zap, Flame Dart, Dazzle, and Force Bolt. Yep. But unfortunately they're flying, so my magic wouldn't hit them. Also, you can jump by pressing the left mouse button in the air. Left mouse button kind of moves you around. Oh, the MIDI there was kind of messed up, but... We did it! Yeah! Let's uh, search our opponent. Oh. You grab a handful of rocks. We'll grab a handful of rocks while we're at it. Search our opponent. No, you no, I want to search the opponent. You. I don't. There we go. The dead body is flea bitten and very smelly. It isn't carrying anything except disease. Ew. Let's get out of here. Ugh. But our first combat, success. Can't go north anymore. Let's head to the right a little bit. Hey, town! Just past the hill, you can see cultivated fields and a walled town. All right, well, let's go to it. Got the town. Nice. Some beautiful giant pumpkins are growing in the field. The villagers have erected a scarecrow to keep birds away from the newly harvested corn. Tall shocks of corn have been harvested, and wait here to be stored for the winter. I like corn. Uh, let's take some. Yeah. You take an ear of the corn and put it away in your pack. Good. Uh, let's head inside. What is this? The huge boulder raises a solitary wooden staff high above the clearing. Green grass surrounds the monument heedless of the many feet which trample it daily. Beautiful, out-of-season flowers grow all around the stone monument. The curved staff has a very organic look to it. Its curves seem somehow feminine. You can feel a sense of magical power radiating all around it. Well, I like a staff. Uh, I'm a wizard. Let's take it. The staff feels warm and almost alive in your hand. You hear an eerie voice in your head. This I must first do. The sacrifice of life for one of love. You find yourself letting go of the staff very quickly. <laughs> yeah, we're, I don't think we want to do that. Uh, let's uh, head this way and see what's up here. Oh, you! How did you get here? Why are you here? Few strangers come to Mordavia. I am the Burgomeister. It is my job to know everyone and everything that goes on here. I guess we might as well uh, talk to this guy. Uh, using the mouth icon on yourself, you can talk to people, initiate a conversation yourself. Let's uh, greet the Burgermeister. The Burgermeister stares at you suspiciously. Ah, fine. Uh, let's tell about ourselves. You tell the Burgermeister about how you came here. Yeah, you know, I came out of that cave. Do you expect me to believe such a story? That you could walk out of that cave alive? That the cave would be open? Tell me no more lies. But it did open! It... And they crushed me. Now let's talk to you directly. Uh, what is your name, Burgomeister? My name is Dmitry Ivanov. I am the Burgomeister of this town. Tell me about Mordavia. Mordavia is a well is surrounded by mountains. There used to be a road which led from here, but heavy rains have created a swamp at the base of the mountain south of here. No wagons can get you in or out, nor can any person, except perhaps you. How about the town? 
This is the town of Mordavia. There is an inn and a shop down the street where you can spend the night or get some supplies and be on your way. <clears throat> the sooner you leave, the better for all. There are many dangers in Mordavia, and we certainly do not need a stranger to stir up new troubles. Uh, what about the inn? The Hotel Mordavia has rooms and food. It is safe place to spend the night. Uh, how about the shop? Uh, the shop does not carry much. We have been cut off from supplies for a while now. Still, you may at least restock your food rations before you continue with your travels. Alright, uh, how about the dangers? There are many strange and dangerous creatures that live in Mordavia. Trust nothing. The gates of this town are closed at sunset. Do not let yourself get caught outside after dark. For few can survive a Mordavian night, or remain sane enough to speak of it. Hmm. Wait, did I ask about troubles? Just leave oh, Mordavia yeah. quickly. No good comes from outsiders, and we do not want you here. Jeez. Alright, uh, that's enough of that. Well, let's head out inside his office, actually, because we can ask about different things. Are you just sightseeing? Or casing my place. And some reason you get a totally different set of things here when you ask about yourself. Like, let's tell about our adventures. Never have I heard such wild stories before. I am supposed to believe that a prince of Shafir stands before me? You do not look like anything other than a teller of tales to me. Ugh. Let's talk to him again. Or ask my I think we get a different conversation tree, though. To be honest, I do not trust you. What you say of yourself is unbelievable. And what you do around here seems likely to get you in trouble. If the pass was clear, I would ask you to leave Mordavia. As things are, I will be watching you closely. <coughs> Jeez, we haven't done anything yet. And somehow we can ask about the Adventurer's Guild, even though we don't technically know about it, but let's ask. The old Adventurer's Guild is at the north end of town. It has been abandoned for many years, since we have not had many adventurers who could cross the swamp. Seeing as you are supposed to be an adventurer, here, have a key to the guild door. Perhaps you can find something of use there. Alright, thanks. What about Mordavia? To the northwest of town is Castle Borgov. Oh. It used to be owned by the Borgov boyars of Mordavia, but the last Borgov died years back. And no one came to take his place. Some strangers moved in some years back, but they have had nothing to do with the town, and we have had nothing to do with them. The old road from town used to meet with the road from the castle and head south to the pass. The heavy rains not only created the swamp, but caused so much plant growth you can't see the road anymore. The swamp is a dangerous and foul place. They say that all who ever were buried beneath the earth there now reach up to drag the living to their deaths. I have seen for myself that this is true. Stay far from the swamp if you value your safety. Okay. There are other things in Mordavia to see and do, but I am not a tour guide here. Go off and see for yourself, but be careful. So there's a lot of the <laughs> gates of the town are locked at night. You so shut up! To return before it gets dark. It's dangerous to be out after sunset. Okay. Thank you. Okay. He gave a lot of information, though. So there's a castle to the northwest of town that used to be held by the Borgov Boyars, if I remember that correctly. But the last Borgov died many years ago, and there's someone who's living there now, but they don't really interact with the town. How about the townspeople? Everyone in Mordavia minds his own business and does not go looking for trouble. You obviously do not fit in well here. Jeez. That's welcome, Wagon. Everyone oh, is... Enough already. But we do have the key to the... We have a key ring, and we have the key to the... Uh, nurture skill. Let's say goodbye. Stay out of trouble if you have any brains. All right. Off we go. Stay out of trouble and other people's business, and you and I will get along with one another. Otherwise, you will get me angry. I'm sure you don't want to make me angry, do you? That make me angry! Ah! All right, so we've met the Burgermeister. Let's save it right here as...
that. Burgermeister. Merga. Merga. I'm a terrible speller, by the way. But the Burgermeister. And that's going to do it for today. Uh, next time we'll continue exploring the town. Take care and bye-bye for now.